I'm down now at the uh, marina and there are three very unique trees that I've discovered here. These are actually uh, dawn redwood trees. They're native to Asia, actually in uh, China, but there are three of them planted here at the marina. They do very well because they like areas that are uh, moist, you know, kind of river valleys, and uh, that's what we have here. These trees are deciduous, but they're not yet uh, changing. When they do change, I think they turn like a bright orange or a red, uh, but right now they're still uh, very green. And let's uh, get a close-up of these so you can take a look at the trunks of these trees and then also what their needles look like. And again, it's one of the few deciduous um, evergreen trees. So here's a close up of the trunk of this Dawn Redwood. And you can see that um, it's got kind of a bumpy trunk. And then the needles right here you can see that, um, you know, they just look like uh, what redwood needles look like. Very similar to the coastal redwoods out in California. Uh, but these can grow in the planting zones from four to eight. So here in Cleveland, I believe we're at a 6B here near the lakeshore. So they do very well here. But these trees in a few weeks will you know change colors and these needles will all drop off and you know they will be bare deciduous trees uh, all the way until spring but very cool to see these these are three dawn redwood trees right near the um, clubhouse there for the marina at the rocky river Reservation. Okay, I'm down here at the Little Met Golf Course and I stopped here because I found another Dawn Redwood growing here. This is a uh, very large specimen here, probably at least, I'm going to guess about 75 feet, maybe 80 feet tall. And again, it hasn't started changing colors yet, but it's a, a beautiful specimen to uh, check out. And it's right at the clubhouse, just to the south of the clubhouse, at the Little Met Golf Course. And here's a little bit more information about the uh, Dawn Redwood. The um, technical name is Meta Sequoia Glyptostroboides. And this tree is really fascinating for a number of reasons. Number one, it was thought that this tree was extinct there are a number of fossilized records of this tree found throughout North America, Asia, uh, and uh, Europe dating back centuries ago, thousands of years ago. And there were no living specimens uh, ever discovered. So the scientists thought that this tree was an extinct redwood that grew throughout a good portion of the temperate areas of the Northern Hemisphere. Then in the 1940s, apparently, the Chinese Communist Party allowed for exploration of the country by arborists and botanists. And in central China, they found a large grove of these dawn redwood trees growing in China. And from that point forward, they started cultivating the seeds from those trees and then planting them in similar climate zones across North America, Europe, and Asia. So the tree was rediscovered in the 40s and a lot of the plantings occurred in the early 1950s. And I found this article on the Cleveland Metro Parks website titled A Natural Mystery Solved. And it gives the history of the plantings of these trees, which apparently started in 1953 in the Cleveland Metro Park system. Uh, according to the article, there were some 70 to 100 uh, seedlings that were planted throughout the parks. 
Now the ones I filmed today were in Rocky River. I've also seen a couple of the specimens in the Brecksville Reservation. And again, according to this article, there, there were 70 to 100 plantings that were done in 1953. I mentioned in the video that these trees were deciduous evergreen trees. And of course, that's not correct. They're actually deciduous coniferous uh, trees, meaning if they were evergreen, they would be evergreen you know, throughout the year. Um, but they are a deciduous coniferous uh, tree. And when you take a look at them, you know, here's a mature specimen. I'm not sure where this one is located. They look a lot like the redwood, you know, the traditional redwoods. Uh, they're not, of course, as tall or as big around as the traditional redwood, but they can grow in the correct climate, uh, anywhere from 150 to 200 feet tall, and they can put on two to three feet per year. So that one that I videoed at the Little Met Golf Course, you know, was at least, I would say, 80 feet tall, 75 to 80 feet tall, and maybe I'm underestimating that. And when you think that the tree is 67 years old, it probably put on, you know, maybe a foot and a half or so uh, per year. So that's a pretty big tree and it will continue to grow. They like moist soils, but they do like direct sunlight. So this area near Lake Erie, you know, being as moist as it is and, you know, being a little more temperate than the rest of the state of Ohio is probably a very good area for this tree to grow in. And then here's a good view of what they look like in the fall. And you can see that they turn kind of this, I would call it more brown, but the description that a lot of the articles talk about is more of a salmon colored orange, you know, kind of a orangish brown, if you will. And then, you know, in the fall, they turn this color and then they shed all those needles only to regrow them in the spring. So it's a fascinating tree, just the history of it. It's not an invasive species. You know, it's not going to uh, take over and proliferate and crowd out native species because at one time, this tree uh, grew in this area of Ohio and throughout a good portion of the nor Northern Hemisphere around the globe. It's just that it was wiped out probably when the dinosaurs were wiped out, except for a small grove, uh, or actually a pretty large grove of these trees in China, where all the modern day trees outside of China of this species come from. So I'm surprised that there's not more of these trees being planted, you know, in parks and in big landscape type settings, because the redwood, of course, is the most popular tree in the world. People come from all over the globe to go to California and the Southern Oregon you know, to see the coastal redwoods or go up to the Sierra Nevada in Eastern California to see the uh, sequoias there, which are, you know, uh, a relative of the redwoods and very similar to the redwoods. But this dawn redwood is a tree that, you know, can grow in a lot of different applications. And one of the, I guess one of the most famous ones in the United States is in the strawberry fields uh, section of Central Park. There are apparently several large specimens that were planted there sometime in the uh, late 40s, early 50s as well. So it's a tree that you, if you've never seen one in person, I would definitely recommend, you know, seeking one out. Uh, there's not a lot of these that are out there, but it's definitely worth seeing, you know, to see a redwood in Ohio or, you know, any of the northern states uh, outside of California and southern Oregon, it's kind of exciting to uh to really take in. So check it out. If you get a chance, check out the Dawn Redwood.